Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now in this video we're going to show you how to test your brake fluid properly. In my opinion there's only one way to do it. I've said it in loads of my other videos there's only one way to do it and that's to boil it. Because at the end of the day what happens is it's called brake fade. When your brakes get too hot the brake fluid boils and it doesn't work and it boils hence we're boiling it because it boils so you see where I'm going with this? So we can see exactly what it's going to boil at. If it fails the test, we know we can replace it. Simple as that, really. There's other testers out there on the market, which I am going to do a comparison between the boil tester and the other ones, and you'll see the reason why the boil tester is the way to go. This is one from Hobby Tools. It's their new kit. They send it to me. As always, I'd leave all the links down in the description box down below and uh, yeah I'll just show you what I really like about hobby tools is the way that they actually do the diagrams all in color very easy to follow you can't go wrong I can't remember the number off this off the top of my head so I'll put it up here and we'll show you how to use it now it does say to start the car but I'm not going to because it's a diesel and it's just easier with the video to kind of talk to you without having the engine ticking over. I know the battery is good, so we're going to be all right. Let's get stuck into it. Sorted. Now, it's important to note what brake fluid you have in your car because obviously that depends on your boiling point. But I'll show you on this once we turn it on. The, they actually show you on the gauge what it should be or what the minimum uh, boil point is. We are dot four in this particular car. So what we've got to do is get our syringe and suck out the fluid from the bottle. Now you don't have to do this. You can also place the machine in the bottle. It just depends if you can actually fit it in or not. So then what I'm going to do is squirt it in here. And then... Uh, I'll get set up and we'll test it, sort it. What also I really like about it, this has a replacement element. Some of them don't. Once the element goes, you have to chuck the whole thing out and buy a new one. You can actually replace this element, which is brilliant because obviously it'll save you a fortune. You have the body, you just replace the element, which is good thinking, sort it. Now this is going to be more for your professional mechanic, more so than your DIY because you know, you're not going to be using this enough to maybe warrant buying it. But it's entirely up to yourself, but as you can see, Try and get this with no glare on. It's going to be, there we go. Kind of no glare on it there. You can see our battery is fully charged, which is good. And you can also see our dot, what is it? Dot three, dot four. Oh, I've just come off the battery there. Dot three, dot four, and dot five. Now the measurements are in degrees and Fahrenheit, which is good. What we're interested in is dot four, which is minimum 155 degrees. That's what we're looking for. So, all I'm going to do is drop it. Also, there is a line there. That's what I meant to say. There is a line. You can see where we need our fluid up to. So we put it in there. Make sure our fluid's up to that line. Press the button and hold. It's now doing what it needs to do. You can just see it's kind of bubbling it there. And there we go, people. 139 which is a fail, completely and utterly fail. So, you can see that there, you can, yeah, there we go. It gives you both measurements, but obviously I'm used to working in C rather than F. So, 139, I know it's failed. Simple, quick, sorted. How quick and easy is that? It's professional, it's done properly. There we go, we're not just measuring water content, like some of them do, we're physically boiling this to see the boiling temperature of it, which like I said, when you get brake fade, it's because your brake fluid is boiling. Hence, we're boiling it. You see where I'm going? Can you see? So, in my opinion, the best way of testing brake fluid is to boil it. And with this, you've seen how quick and easy it is. You can then tell the customer, right, you need a brake flush, blah, 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 blah. And what do you do then when you need to replace and flush the brake fluid? You get Vlad the Bleeder out. Look at that beautiful shiny machine. 
Sorted. You can take a picture of the screen, you know, with your phone, and you can show it to them and say, look, you know, it has failed, or you can write, do what I do, write it down on the sheet when I give it to them, so I've told them basically what it's failed at the temperature, what it should be, or what the minimum should be, and what it is. And there we go. That's it. It's as simple as that. Nice, quick, easy, and professional. What more do you want? So I'll leave all the links down below to this tool and where you can actually contact them through Facebook is normally the easiest way to do it. So I'll leave the link down below and then you can see where your nearest stockist is around the world and they will tell you where it is. And uh, yeah, it's really as simple as that people. So there we go. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget links up here, links down below to my Patreon, Facebook, Instagram. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sweet. What I also really like about this is have a, 